Uh, greetings, friends. It's me, Women. This is a video response to Sister Sunshine's video, uh, The Spiritual Realm. And I just wanted to uh, enjoy Sister Sunshine's videos. She makes me think. And um, I just want to throw out a few sources that might be interesting because um, all that stuff in the New Testament just didn't fall out of the sky. Uh, had to come from someplace. And as you know, uh, in the New Testament, you can't swing a cat around by the tail without hitting a demon. They're all over the place. So a lot of that stuff came from Zoroastrianism uh, on the Persian side and also the Assyrians were into it uh, for the most part. Mainly I think a lot of this started especially on the Greek and Assyrian side were with something called the, the Furies or the unavenged dead. So you didn't you didn't bury a body or uh, a person died of an unjust cause or he was murdered uh, these furies, until they were avenged, would come back and haunt. That that was the belief. You get this in the play Aeschylus by Libation Bearers. It's all over in the Iliad and the Odyssey. Uh, actually, in the Odyssey, um, Odysseus uh, visits the underworld because um, somebody was drunk, fell off the roof, got hurt, uh, and died. Yeah, he got hurt. Uh, went to the underworld, but they didn't bury him. Odysseus didn't know they left without him. So we had to go back, visit the underworld to find out why uh, this particular person, I forget the guy's name, it started with an E, I know that, uh, was upset. And he says, you know, you left me unburied. So I believe that was in uh, book 11 of the uh, Odyssey. Check that out. Check out Aeneas' journey to the underworld uh, in book 6 of the Aeneid. So, so take all that and compare it to uh, Josephus's discord discourse on Hades to the Greeks. Uh, you can find that translation online, an extract of it. It's a horrible translation, but there's not too many good English translations floating around of that. Then take all that and read the Apocalypse of Peter, throw that in with Revelation and, and some of the apocalyptic texts, especially uh, some stuff out of the Dead Sea Scrolls, the War Scroll, read some of that. Uh, do a search on demons and, and, and views of that in the Talmud. There's plenty of text, uh, English translations of the Talmud. Let's see what they have to say about that. And then the Ethiopian version text of Enoch. Excellent read above, about, you know, the worlds above and below. And then um, ideas about the uh, the wars in heaven, you know. See uh, the wars in heaven according to Greek and Roman ideas, and also I believe it's in, in, in crypto where uh, they go into this big long discourse uh, about uh, the underworld uh, in in the dialogue of Plato. So Plato discusses it great length has Socrates discuss it in the dialogues so you can check that out actually on my blog I have the references to the underworld out of the dialogues Plato so you could go there and check that out um, also on top of all that for, for the for the modern modern view um, go to the teaching company and type in apocalypticisms observed um, they go through the history of apocalypticism uh, from back in the day through the revolutions, English Revolution, French Re Revolution, American Revolution, and how apocalypticism and, and ideas of all that, of the beast and all that, influenced the way we do things today in our culture. And also, uh, just on the American side, uh, which is probably the most modern view, is naming the Antichrist. Uh, so check that book out. That book is a little bit expensive, but it's it's really good. Buy it used. Uh, it's really good though. And there's another one where um, when evangelicalism and and uh, Christianity, uh, kind of like Baptists and, and those kind of ap apocalyptic fundamentalist ideas, starts bringing up in the South. I believe it's called Southern Southern Cross. There's a chapter in that book on um, how people 
uh, would hear sermons on uh, hell and actually kill their children and at times feel suicidal to where they would end their own lives because of the misery and things it caused. So I don't believe any of this stuff, but it's great to read because it gives a background on why people think the way they do. And also, if you start from the ancient Near East, work your way up, starting with you know, like the Egyptian idea of it, work your way out. Uh, you'll see how the progression happened to where we get ideas about it today. Even in film, it's excellent. Harry Potter movies where he's slaying the uh, serpent in the underworld, all this hubbub about you know vampires and all that garbage um, ends up being uh, really interesting. So also well, a text that I want to bring up is uh, Solomon and the Demons. Check that out. You know, that's kind of a spooky text. You know, Christians aren't supposed to read, but it's part of the uh, the whole thing. You know, it's it's the view. And also, you know, like they break they break up the demon categories in four sections, you know, and Lilith and all that. A really good book that I got here is uh, if, if you just want an overview of it. And they give excellent references to the base literature, which is what you want to read to see how all this stuff evolved. If you read commentary first, it's garbage. Commentary is garbage if you don't know the base literature. Because the commentators could be BSing you. Especially if they have a, a bone to pick or a message to give that's a little bit one-sided. Read the base literature first, then start reading the commentary. This is a commentary on ancient Israel myths and legends. Three volumes in one. Um, uh, by Angelo... Rapporto, R-A-P-P-O-P-O-R-T. Excellent text. Uh, I've read through this even though I can't pronounce his name. Chapter 7 uh, starts on the demons and all. And then it gives a really good overview of the Talmud and rabbinic views on that. War in heaven. Uh, King Solomon and the demons. And then it talks about paradise or the abode of the just. And... Uh, if you've read the Iliad and the Odyssey and Plato, uh, you can see how all that influenced this too, once the, once the Ju Judaism was Hellenized. Uh, interesting stuff indeed. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too much, but hopefully you won't be lazy and, and you'll go and read some of that stuff. Because uh, sometimes today we get a little bit too lazy. We like to wiki everything, but not everything is on wiki. Although, wiki does give a very good overview on where to start. Uh, we need to be digging in some of these texts, find out why people today and why the people of that day were thinking the way they did and maybe where they got it from. And as cultural, cultures change, um, how does that work? So um, take care, friends. And remember, if everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking 